The Crystal Palace was a cast iron and plate glass structure originally built in Hyde Park, London, to house the Great Exhibition of 1851. This international exhibition was meant to showcase the latest technological and industrial advances of the time. The Crystal Palace was designed by Joseph Paxton, a leading Victorian architect and gardener, and was one of the most iconic buildings of the 19th century. The Great Exhibition Building was an impressive 1,851 feet, 564 meters, long, with an interior height of 128 feet, 39 meters. It covered over 19 acres. It was three times the size of St. Paul's Cathedral, and was the largest single-room building in the world at the time. It was divided into two main sections, the Crystal Palace itself and the adjacent gardens. It was constructed using a modular system of prefabricated parts that could be easily assembled on site, and was covered in a skin of clear glass that allowed natural light to flood the interior. The exterior of the Crystal Palace was just as impressive as the interior. The building was supported by over 300 iron columns and was topped with a huge glass dome. The Crystal Palace was lit by over 10,000 gas lamps, making it a truly impressive sight at night. The construction of the Crystal Palace was made possible by the introduction of the sheet glass method into Britain by Chance Brothers in 1832. This new method allowed for the production of large sheets of cheap but strong glass, which were used to cover the entire structure. The use of glass in the Crystal Palace created a building with the greatest area of glass ever seen in a building, and it became a symbol of Victorian innovation and technological progress. During the Great Exhibition, there were over 13,000 exhibits on display from all over the world. The exhibits ranged from the latest steam engines and machinery, to art and other cultural artifacts. In addition to its impressive size and use of glass and iron, the Crystal Palace was also notable for its innovative design. Joseph Paxton designed the building using principles of Victorian greenhouse design, with a central transept and two wings that were connected by curving corridors. The building was divided into nine main exhibition areas, each devoted to a different subject such as machinery, art, and natural history. The interior of the Crystal Palace was a breathtaking space, filled with light and air and filled with exhibits from around the world. The central transept, known as the Grand Court, was over 300 feet long and was lined with display cases and exhibits. The building also featured a number of smaller galleries and rooms, as well as a central fountain and a grand staircase leading to the upper level. In addition to the exhibitions, the Crystal Palace also featured a number of amenities, including restaurants, tea rooms, and even a theatre. It was a popular destination for both tourists and Londoners, and became a key part of the city's cultural landscape. The Crystal Palace was also significant because it helped to popularise the use of glass in architecture. Prior to the construction of the Crystal Palace, glass was an expensive and fragile material that was used sparingly in buildings. However, the success of the Crystal Palace demonstrated the potential of glass as a building material, and it inspired a wave of glass-covered buildings in the Victorian era and beyond. The Great Exhibition was a huge success and the Crystal Palace became a popular attraction in its own right. After the Great Exhibition, the Crystal Palace was moved to a new location in South London, where it became a popular attraction and cultural hub. It was used to host a wide range of events, including concerts, exhibitions, and sporting events. However, in 1936, the building was destroyed in a catastrophic fire that left only the foundations and a few charred remains.